ready for some multiplication today? I'm going to show you some strategies that I learned. Well, they make multiplication very simple for me, and they help me with all the problems I need to finish. So I hope you can um, follow along and um, see what kind of strategies I learn in some problems and use them too. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you some of these problems, if you can see them, and I'm going to show you um, my strategies and um, it'll help us solve these problems. So let's start um, adding. I multiply. So here um, we have 8 times 5. So I'm going to break up the 8 because it's easier to multiply with the 5. So I'm going to use 4 and 4. The same numbers are um, more helpful. Like that. 4 plus 4. Like that. Then I add 5 and 5 to both of the, f the numbers here. Then I know 4 times 5 is 20. And it's the same, so four, t so another 20. 20 plus 20 equals 40, because 2 plus 2 equals 4, 0 plus 0 equals 0, so the answer is 40. And this, and it's the answer to this one too. Let's try this one. Here I break up the 7 into 3 and 4. Okay, so I put a 4 here and a 4 here. Now 4 times 3 equals 12. I know that. And 4 times 4 equals 16. I know that. So I need to add 12 plus 16. I know 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 6 is 8. It's 28. So this answer is 28 as well. So those are some strategies you can use for multiplication. Um, if some um, um, so, um, problems are too hard for you, you can use um, these strategies or, yeah. So now I'm gonna use the strategies that I showed you to do the mat tango um, problems so I can finish the missions. Buy a microchips dip shop. So let's go to store and buy it here. You can put it where there's all green, right there. Double tap on any visitor and zoom in. Like that. You double tap on it and then it zooms in. Then press the red X, then do that. Place Hubble. Now Hubble, if you haven't got, got him yet, it's okay. Just, this is Hubble. You see, he's right here. Let's place him on this shop. <laughs> I think I think I can see he likes chips. Do you like chips? I do. I love chips. So, oh, he didn't get a. I don't know. Let's try that again. So he goes in. Oh, this is making me hungry. I love chips. How can I ever wait for lunch? <sighs> okay, so we can't place Hubble on the UFO pizzeria because there's no more energy and it's black and we can't place him on the sector because then he might die so we need to play energy puzzles to get more energy we need to pass the puzzles and make sure they're correct to get more energy so let's try this nine times five let's try nine times five nine times five now i'll break out the nine because five is easier to add now, I'm going to break out 9 into 5 and 4. 5 plus 4. Then I'm going to double it 
I'm going to double the five and do four times five and five times five. I know both of these. This equals 25 because this, this is 20 and this is one more than this number. So that, um, so if this is 20, it, it, it's adding one more five. So 20 plus 25, this has to be 40 and five plus zero is five. So it's 45. The answer to, to nine times five is 45. So we're, it's right on this one. Is seven times nine, 28? It can't be, because I know that, and if this, if you don't know seven times four, you can try and break up another number. But first, let's try it for now. Seven and seven. Okay. So now, seven times four, seven times, Three is 21, and 21 plus seven is 28. So I know this is 28, and this is the same, so it's 28 too. So let's add this. Two and two is four, and eight and eight is 16. But here, it can't be that. So let's scratch this. This is six, one. So one plus two plus two is five. Because four plus one is five. So this is true. So then it gives us more energy. And now keep playing those energy puzzles and increase your energy too. So, okay, anyway, this is not true. Seven times six, let's try that. Or, yeah, I know, it's 42. Now, six times 10, as I said, something times 10 is always that number, but followed by a zero, so it has to be 60. Three times eight, let's try. Three times eight. Okay, so I'm gonna break up the eight into four and four, three and three. I know this is all 12, 12 and 12, and this is two and this is four, so it's 24. So this, so three times eight is not 28. So that is wrong, so we, let's not press that. Seven times eight, seven plus eight is 15, but be careful, it might not be in multiplication. So let's try seven times seven. Seven times seven. I'm gonna break up, I'm gonna, you can break up any seven because they're both the same number. So I'm going to break it up into four and three. Four plus three equals seven. So let's add seven and seven. So this I know is 28. And this I know is 21. So 21 plus 28 is 49. So this has to be 49, and this is 49 too. Four times seven is 27. No, it isn't, we already went through that. Four times 10 is 40, so it can't be 37. Three times eight is not, tw is not, is not 28, so it can't be right either. Four times eight, we didn't try that. Let's try. Four times eight. Now, I'm gonna break up the eight into four and four. Let's add four here and four here. Four times four. Now, four times five is 20, but four times four will be 15. 
No. Actually, it'll be 16. Because it's 4, not 5. So it's not going down by 5. So let's put 16 here and 16 here. I know 16 plus 16 is 32. So this is not correct either. It's 32, not 37. So let's check this one. 7 times six 8. Times. Six, I mean 6 times... Eight. Let's break up the eight into four and four. Six and six. Six times four and six times four. Now six times four may be a little hard. So you want to break it up a bit for me? Hmm, yes, I am. I'm going to do three and five. Three and five. 6 times 5 is 30, and 6 times 3, hmm, 6 times 6 plus, okay, so 6 plus 6, if it was times 2, then it would be 12, but when it's 6 times 3, it's doubled by 3, so I know it is 16, no, 18. Because 2 plus 6 equals 8. Mm -hmm. So that's how I know it's 18. Now 18 plus 30. Wow. This is 8. And this is 4. So it's 48. This should be right. And now look, it's increasing. So. So let's try to go back and see. Oh yes, it is. Let's put Hubble in the UFO pizzeria so we can finish it. Now he goes in, he comes out, and let's see if we got a check on our mission. Yes! Place Colossus on the micro dip shot. Now Colossus is the orange robot, if you have him. So place him on the shot the shop there we go and i hope we completed another mission yay i want to see who our next robot is yes this is the most exciting part because we get another sector and the sector is where we put stuff see it builds another sector and sectors are those great things here comes another robot hoover Ooh, cool name, right? Now, oh no, this is one of the problems. Maybe it's too hot in Starbase and we need to make it cool. So, I'm so happy you joined me today. We had so much fun playing games while learning math. I had so much fun with you. I hope you come back um, and watch Matt Tango and do some fun and wild math, which is so much fun when we play games. And um, it's way better with you joining me. And I hope you come and enjoy the math. Bye!